Hi, welcome to ProCAD's video on how to uninstall and reinstall your Autodesk product. The first step is to uninstall your software. In this video, I will be showing you how to do this with Revit 2017. First, we go to our control panel and under Programs, click Uninstall Programs. Here, you need to locate the product you wish to uninstall. So, once you have located the files in relation to the program, you click uninstall slash change. You will then get an option to repair or uninstall. Click uninstall. Your program will begin to uninstall. Once the program has successfully uninstalled, click finish. Once you've successfully uninstalled the program, the next step is to delete the folders associated with the license of the program. You can do this by locating the folders in your C drive. These folders are often hidden, as you can see from the video. So you will first need to turn on the hidden folders option. To do this, you need to go back into the control panel and in the search bar type folder options. Click into file folder options and in the view tab click on show hidden files and OK. You can now see that the hidden folders are visible. One of the hidden folders which we will be using is the program data file. The first step is to navigate to the FlexNet folder. Delete the files within the folder and if it doesn't allow you to delete all of them, like you can see in mine, just press skip as this file doesn't affect the reinstall. Next we need to navigate to the users folder. Then enter your username and click into your other hidden folder called app data. From there, you click into the roaming and into the Autodesk folder and finally into ADUT folder. In here, you should be able to see your license files, but since I am uninstalling a trial, it doesn't appear. You need to delete the folder with the corresponding product key to the software you are uninstalling. Now, we will go back into the program data folder, then into the Autodesk folder and finally into the ADUT folder. Remove all files in this folder. The last step is to go back into the program data folder, then into the Autodesk folder, proceed to the CLM folder, then into the LGS folder. Again, as I'm only installing a trial version, there is no license file. You need to delete the folder with them. Now that you have the program uninstalled, you need to reinstall the program. You can download the program via your Autodesk account or I'll show you an alternative method through your virtual agent website. Before you do this, please ensure that you have prepared your system for downloading the steps to do this. Once you click into the Autodesk website for virtual agent, you then click into the hyperlink for virtual agent. From here, you click on download links and then search for the program which you are looking to reinstall, which in my case is Revit 2017. Select the parts depending on the version you want. As you can see in Revit there is only two parts. This may vary depending on the software. You will then see the files downloading on your screen as seen here. Once the files are downloaded, you open up the files in the download folder. You then need to double click on part one of the installation files to start the extraction. At this stage, your computer should be prepared for the download. Once it has extracted and initialized, you then click install. When installing, it is essential that you choose your region or country to which is applicable to you. You then need to accept the terms and conditions and click next. The menu that follows shows what you are now going to finally download on your computer. So, once you are happy with that, click install. The program will begin to install on your computer this may take a while depending on what type of program you are using or your internet connection. Keep up to date with all the latest tips and tricks and news and events from Autodesk on our website www.procad.ie and click subscribe.
on our YouTube channel for more tips and tricks of Autodesk software.